This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. It really gives us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the bad actors who are naked shorting AMC, GME, and other stocks are running out of liquidity, okay? They're fighting tooth and nail. They get some liquidity by selling shares they don't own. They get some liquidity by, by selling calls and then, you know, making sure that the calls don't go into money that they never exercise, and that is how they are surviving, okay? The reverse repo is down to 441 billion from two trillion dollars. They are hanging on by their fingernails and the banks that are lending them the money are hanging on by their fingernails also. They want us to think that the market is doing great, that they are doing well, that they can keep naked shorting AMC and GME forever and they cannot do that. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. That's not what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is this. The bad actors are in trouble. They're trying to put on a strong face like we can do this forever. But you know who can do this forever? The people who are long on AMC, GME, and other stocks can do it forever. You know why? You already pay for the shares. The shares are already down. It don't cost you anything to hold. And I'm not telling you to hold. I'm not telling you to hold. I'm saying it doesn't cost you anything to hold. But it costs the bad actors money every single day to maintain their positions. And when this reverse repo <laughs> gets down to 2008 numbers, which in my opinion is already at 2008 comparable numbers, we're going to see some craziness in the market and i'm going to tell you something else i believe and this is just my opinion if this wasn't an election year the markets would have crashed already the bad actors would have been done already but because it's an election year the government is going out of their way to prop up the market because based on these reverse repo numbers the market should have crashed already the only reason I believe that it hasn't crashed and forced these bad actors to cover their short positions is because we are in an election year. And once again, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock. I'm just telling you that they're hanging on by their fingernails. And I believe, in my opinion, the only reason it hasn't crashed is because the government has been artificially supporting the stock market because they don't want it to crash during an election year because they think it would be beneficial to Trump. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that if it wasn't an election year, the market would have crashed already? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.